morning everyone. So today's story, our first one is The Lion Who Wanted to Love. Thought this would be a nice one, especially at the moment. Deep in the African heartland, way out on the hot sunny plains, there lived a small lion who didn't fit in. And Leo was this lion's name. Now lions are usually fierce. And lions are meant to be strong. But Leo just wanted to love everybody and play with his friends all day long. You worry me, Leo, my darling, his mum started saying one day. You'll never survive in the animal world if you don't learn to hunt for your prey. But mummy, said Leo, bewildered. I don't think I quite understand. I'm sure there are plenty of lions that hunt who could kill all the beasts in the land. And besides, when I'm close to a zebra, a funny thought goes through my head. Instead of deciding to bite through his skin, I'd much rather hug him instead. I have spoken, said Leo's mum sternly. It's up to you now to decide. But if you insist you're not going to hunt, then there's no place for you in our pride. Poor Leo crept off into the jungle, but hoped that with love in his heart, he'd learn how to cope in the animal world. Though he didn't quite know where to start. That evening, while Leo was sleeping, he woke to the thunder of hooves. And when he looked up from his lair, he could see a whole antelope herd on the move. Some leopards were running beside them, surrounded by thick clouds of dust. Leo thought, quickly, he jumped to his feet. I must help them, he cried. Yes, I must. Then he caught sight of two injured young ones who couldn't keep up with the bunch. If he didn't help them to try and escape, the leopards would eat them for lunch. Leo led them away back to safety and gave them some food they could eat. He licked their wounds clean till they both became strong and he nursed them back onto their feet. The antelope babies kissed Leo and told him, We'll never forget that you saved our lives when we thought we were dead. You're the loveliest lion we've ever met. Leo was very excited. His face had lit up in a smile. It's fun making friends in the jungle, he thought. Then he lay down and slept for a while. From that day on, Leo decided to run each squeal and each cry. He led little hippos to watering holes and he taught baby birds how to fly. He helped a giraffe who'd been injured and a vulture who'd broken his wing. And even though all of his friends gave him food, he never once asked for a thing. Then, one day, Beside a wide river, Leo heard a small animal scream. He ran to the banks and caught sight of a cheetah, being swept very quickly downstream. Please help, cried the cheetah in a panic. I haven't learned how to swim yet. The waterfall's going to drown me, I'm sure. With a splash, Leo boldly leapt in. He managed to rescue the cheetah and push him quite safe to the side. But as he was trying to scramble ashore, Leo slipped and caught the tide. The river was crashing and foaming, and Leo let out a loud yelp. The waterfall wasn't too far away now, so the cheetah rushed off to find help. The friends Leo had in the jungle all raced to the bank straight away. They wanted so much to show Leo their thanks. At last! They had now found a way. They climbed onto the rocks through the rapids 
and link themselves up tail and paw. An elephant wrapped his long trunk around a tree, which anchored them safe to the shore. And when Leo got to the rapids, a lioness dipped down her head. She lifted him gently across to the bank. You're safe, Leo, darling, she said. My son, you're a brave little lion, she spoke in her humblest tone. I was wrong. Now I see love can bring us together. Please, Leo, she said, come back home. You've got to be strong to be different. And when you've got love on your side, you've got the most valuable gift that there is. We want you as king of our pride.